Benin. Benin, officially the Republic of Benin, and formerly Dahomey, is a country in West Africa. It is bordered by Togo to the west, Nigeria to the east, and Burkina Faso and Niger to the north. The majority of its population lives on the small southern coastline of the Bight of Benin, part of the Gulf of Guinea and the northernmost tropical portion of the Atlantic Ocean. The capital of Benin is Porto Novo, but the seat of government is in Cotonou, the country's largest city and economic capital. Benin covers an area of in its population and was estimated to be approximately slash 1e6 round 2 million. Benin is a tropical nation, highly dependent on agriculture, with substantial employment and income arising from subsistence farming. The official language of Benin is French. However, indigenous languages such as Fon and Yoruba are commonly spoken. The largest religious group in Benin is Roman Catholicism, followed closely by Islam, Vaudan, and Protestantism. Benin is a member of the United Nations, the African Union, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the South Atlantic Peace and Cooperation Zone Louisiana Francophonie, the Community of Sahel Saharan States, the African Petroleum Producers Association and the Niger Basin Authority. From the 17th to the 19th century, the main political entities in the area were the Kingdom of Dahomey, along with the city-state of Porto Novo, and a large area with many different nations to the north. This region was referred to as the Slave Coast from as early as the 17th century due to the large number of enslaved people who were shipped to the New World during the transatlantic slave trade. After enslavement was abolished, France took over the country and renamed it French Dahomey. In 1960, Dahomey gained full independence from France. The sovereign state has had a tumultuous history since then, with many different democratic governments, military coups, and military governments. A Marxist-Leninist state called the People's Republic of Benin existed between 1975 and 1990. In 1991, it was replaced by the current multi-party Republic of Benin. During the colonial period and at independence, the country was known as Dahomey. On November 30, 1975, it was renamed Benin, after the body of water on which the country lies, the Bight of Benin. This had been named by Europeans after the Benin Empire in present-day Nigeria. The country of Benin has no connection to Benin City in modern Nigeria, nor to the Benin Bronzes. The form Benin is the result of a Portuguese corruption off the city of Ubenu, now Benin City. The new name, Benin, was chosen for its neutrality. Dahomey was the name of the former Fon Kingdom of Dahomey, which was limited to most of the southern third of the present country and therefore did not represent Porto Novo, a rival Yoruba state in the south, central Benin, which is also dominated by the Yoruba, the multi-ethnic northwestern sector Atacora, nor the Bariba Kingdom of Borgu, which covered the northeastern district. The current country of Benin combines three areas which had distinctly different political systems and ethnicities prior to French colonial control. Before 1700, there were a few important city states along the coast, primarily of the Asia ethnic group, but also including Yoruba and peoples, and a miss off tribal regions inland, composed of Bariba, Mahi, Jadivi, and Kabai peoples. The Oyo Empire, located primarily to the east of modern Benin, was the most significant large-scale military force in the region. It regularly conducted raids and exacted tribute from the coastal kingdoms and the tribal regions. The situation changed in the 1600s and early 1700s as the Kingdom of Dahomey, consisting mostly of Fon people, was founded on the Abomey Plateau and began taking over areas along the coast. By 1727, King Agaja of the Kingdom of Dahomey had conquered the coastal cities of Alida and Wida but it had become a tributary of the Oyo Empire and did not directly attack the Oyo allied city-state of Porto Novo. The rise of the Kingdom of Dahomey, the rivalry between the kingdom and the city of Porto Novo, and the continued tribal politics of the northern region, persisted into the colonial and post-colonial periods. The Dahomey Kingdom was known for its culture and traditions. Young boys were often apprenticed to older soldiers, and taught the kingdom's military customs until they were old enough to join the army. Dahomey was also famous for instituting an elite female soldier corps, called Ahosi, i.e. the king's wives, or Minyo, our mothers in the Fon language Fong, and known by many Europeans as the Dahomey and Amazons. This emphasis on military preparation and achievement earned Dahomey the nickname of Black Sparta from European observers and 19th century explorers such as Sir Richard Burton. The kings of Dahomey sold their war captives into transatlantic slavery. They also had a practice of killing war captives in a ceremony known as the Annual Customs. 
By about 1750, the king of Dahomey was earning an estimated £250,000 per year by selling African captives to European slave traders. Though the leaders of Dahomey appear to have initially resisted the slave trade, it flourished in the region of Dahomey for almost 300 years, beginning in 1472 with a trade agreement with Portuguese merchants. The area was named the Slave Coast because of this flourishing trade. Court protocols, which demanded that a portion of war captives from the kingdom's many battles be decapitated, decreased the number of enslaved people exported from the area. The number went from 102,000 people per decade in the 1780s to 24s, 000 per decade by the 1860s. The decline was partly due to the Slave Trade Act 1807 banning the transatlantic slave trade by Britain and the United States following in 1808, followed by other countries. This decline continued until 1885, when the last slave ship departed from the coast of the modern Benin Republic bound for Brazil and South America, which had yet to abolish slavery. The capital's name Porto Novo is of Portuguese origin, meaning new port. It was originally developed as a port for the slave trade. By the middle of the 19th century, Dahomey had begun to weaken and lose its status as the regional power. This enabled the French to take over Thuria in 1892. In 1899, the French included a land called French Dahomey within the larger French West Africa colonial region. In 1958, France granted autonomy to the Republic of Dahomey and full independence on August 1, 1960, which is celebrated each year as Independence Day, a national holiday. The president who led the country to independence was Hubert Maga. For the next 12 years after 1960, ethnic strife contributed to a period of turbulence. There were several coups and regime changes, with the figures of Hubert Maga, Zeru Apithi, Justin Ahoma Degb, and Emil Durland Zinsu dominating. The first three each represented a different area and ethnicity of the country. These three agreed to form a presidential council after violence marred the 1970 elections. On May 7, 1972, Maga ceded power to Ahomed Aib. On October 26, 1972, Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Karaku overthrew the ruling triumvirate, becoming president and stating that the country would not burden itself by copying foreign ideology, and wants neither capitalism, communism, nor socialism. On November 30, 1974 however, he announced that the country was officially Marxist, under control of the Military Council of the Revolution, CMR, which nationalized the petroleum industry and banks. On November 30, 1975, he renamed the country to the People's Republic of Benin. The CMR was dissolved in 1979, and Karaku arranged show elections in which he was the only allowed candidate. Establishing relations with China, North Korea, and Libya, he put nearly all businesses and economic activities under state control, causing foreign investment in Benin to dry up. Karaku attempted to reorganize education, pushing his own aphorisms such as poverty is not a fatality, resulting in a mass exodus of teachers, along with numerous other professionals. The regime financed itself by contracting to take nuclear waste, first from the Soviet Union and later from France. In 1980, Karaku converted to Islam and changed his first name to Ahmed. He changed his name back after claiming to be a born-again Christian. In 1989, riots broke out when the regime did not have enough money to pay its army. The banking system collapsed. Eventually, Karaku renounced Marxism, and a convention forced Karaku to release political prisoners and arrange elections. Marxism Leninism was abolished as the nation's form of government. The country's name was officially changed to the Republic of Benin on March 1, 1990, after the newly formed government's constitution was completed. In a 1991 election, Karaku lost to Nisei Forsiglo. Karaku returned to power after winning the 1996 vote. In 2001, a closely fought election resulted in Karaku winning another term, after which his opponents claimed election irregularities. In 1999, Karaku issued a national apology for the substantial role that Africans had played in the Atlantic slave trade. Karaku and former President Siglo did not run in the 2006 elections, as both were barred by the Constitution's restrictions on age and total terms of candidates. On March 5, 2006, an election was held that was considered free and fair. It resulted in a runoff between Yai Boni and Adrian Houndji. The runoff election was held on 19 March and was won by Boni who assumed office on 6 April. The success of the fair multi-party elections in Benin won praise internationally. Boni was re-elected in 2011, 
taking 53.18% of the vote in the first round, enough to avoid a runoff election. He was the first president to win an election without a runoff since the restoration of democracy in 1991. In the March 2016 presidential elections, in which Boni Yayi was barred by the Constitution from running for a third term, businessman Patrice Talon won the second round with 65.37% of the vote, defeating investment banker and former Prime Minister Lionel Zinsu. Talon was sworn in on April 6, 2016. Speaking on the same day that the Constitutional Court confirmed the results, Talon said that he would first and foremost tackle constitutional reform discussing his plan to limit presidents to a single term of five years in order to combat complacency. He also said that he planned to slash the size of the government from 28 to 16 members. Benin's politics take place in a framework of a presidential representative democratic republic, in which the president of Benin is both head of state and head of government, within a multi-party system. Executive power is exercised by the government. Legislative power is vested in both the government and the legislature. The judiciary is independent of the executive and the legislature. The political system is derived from the 1990 Constitution of Benin and the subsequent transition to democracy in 1991. Benin scored highly in the 2013 Ibrahim Index of African Governance, which comprehensively measures the state of governance across the continent. Benin was ranked 18th out of 52 African countries and scored best in the categories of safety and rule of law and participation and human rights. In its 2007 Worldwide Press Freedom Index, Reporters Without Borders ranked Benin 53rd out of 169 countries. Benin has been rated equal 88th out of 159 countries in a 2005 analysis of police, business, and political corruption. Benin is divided into 12 departments, French, departments, which, in turn, are subdivided into 77 communes. In 1999, the previous six departments were each split into two halves, forming the current 12. The six new departments were assigned official capitals in 2008. The majority of Benin's population lives in the south. The population is young, with a life expectancy of 62 years. About 42 African ethnic groups live in this country, these various groups settled in Benin at different times and also migrated within the country. Ethnic groups include the Yoruba in the southeast, migrated from Nigeria in the 12th century, the Dendi in the north central area, who came from Mali in the 16th century, the Bariba and the Fula in the northeast, the Bitamaribe and the Somba in the Atacora range, the Fon in the area around Abomi in the south central and the Mina, Zweda, and Asia who came from Togo on the coast. Recent migrations have brought other African nationals to Benin that include Nigerians, Togolese, and Malians. The foreign community also includes many Lebanese and Indians involved in trade and commerce. The personnel of the many European embassies and foreign aid missions and of non-governmental organizations and various missionary groups account for a large part of the European population. A small part of the European population consists of Beninese citizens of French ancestry. In the 2002 census, 42.8% of the population of Benin were Christian, 27.1% Roman Catholic, 5% Celestial Church of Christ, 3.2% Methodist, 7.5% other Christian denominations, 24.4% were Muslim, 17.3% practiced Vadan, 6% practiced other local traditional religions, 1.9% practiced other religions and 6.5% claimed no religious affiliation. A more recent government survey conducted by the Demographic and Health Surveys Program in 2011-2012 indicated that Christianity had increased to 57.5% of the population, with Catholics making up 33.9%, Methodists 3.0%, Celestials 6.2% and other Christians 14.5%, while Muslims had declined to 22.8%. Traditional religions include local animistic religions in the Atacora, Atacora and Donga provinces, and Vadan and Orisha veneration among the Yoruba and Tato peoples in the center and south of the nation. The town of Uada on the central coast is the spiritual center of Benini's Vadan. The major introduced religions are Christianity, followed throughout the south and center of Benin and in Otamri country in the Atacora, and Islam, introduced by the Songa Empire and Hausa merchants, and now followed throughout Alibori. Borgu and Donga provinces, as well as among the Yoruba, who also follow Christianity. Many, however, continue to hold Vadan and Orisha beliefs and have incorporated the pantheon of Vadan and Orisha into Christianity. 
The Ahmadiyya Muslim community, a sect originating in the 19th century, is also present in a significant minority. Benin, a narrow, north-south strip of land in West Africa, lies between latitude 6 degrees and 13 degrees north, and longitude 0 degrees and 4 degrees east. Benin is bounded by Togo to the west, Burkina Faso and Niger to the north, Nigeria to the east, and the Bight of Benin to the south. The distance from the Niger River in the north to the Atlantic Ocean in the south is about. Although the coastline measures, the country measures about at its widest point. Benin shows little variation in elevation and can be divided into four areas from the south to the north, starting with the low lying, sandy, coastal plain, highest elevation, which is, at most, wide. It is marshy and dotted with lakes and lagoons communicating with the ocean. Behind the coast lies the Guinean forest savanna mosaic covered plateaus of southern Benin, altitude between, which are split by valleys running north to south along the Kufo, Zo, and Awim rivers. An area of flat land dotted with rocky hills whose altitude seldom reaches extends around Nikki and Save. A range of mountains extends along the northwest border and into Togo, these are the Atacora. The highest point, Montana Sokboro is at. Benin has fallow fields, mangroves, and remnants of large sacred forests. In the rest of the country, the savanna is covered with thorny scrub and dotted with huge baobab trees. Some forests line the banks of rivers. In the north and the northwest of Benin, the reserve Dudu Du Niger and Penjari National Park attract tourists eager to see elephants, lions, antelopes, hippos, and monkeys. Penjari National Park together with the bordering parks Arli and W in Burkina Faso and Niger are among the most important strongholds for the endangered West African lion. With an estimated 356, range, 246 to 466, lions, W. Arli Penjari harbors the largest remaining population of lions in West Africa. Historically Benin has served as habitat for the endangered painted hunting dog, Lycaon pictus, however, this canid is thought to have been locally extirpated. Benin's climate is hot and humid. Annual rainfall in the coastal area averages 1,300 mm or about 51 inches. Benin has two rainy and two dry seasons per year. The principal rainy season is from April to late July, with a shorter less intense rainy period from late September to November. The main dry season is from December to April, with a short cooler dry season from late July to early September. Temperatures and humidity are high along the tropical coast. In Cotonou, the average maximum temperature is, the minimum is. Variations in temperature increase when moving north through savanna and plateau toward the Sahel. A dry wind from the Sahara called the Harmattan blows from December to March, when grass dries up, other vegetation turns reddish-brown, and a veil of fine dust hangs over the country, causing the skies to overcast. It is also the season when farmers burn brush in the fields. The economy of Benin is dependent on subsistence agriculture, cotton production, and regional trade. Cotton accounts for 40% of the GDP and roughly 80% of official export receipts. Growth in real output has averaged around 5% in the past seven years, but rapid population growth has offset much of this increase. Inflation has subsided over the past several years. Benin uses the CFA franc, which is pegged to the euro. Benin's economy has continued to strengthen over the past years, with real GDP growth estimated at 5.1 and 5.7% in 2008 and 2009, respectively. The main driver of growth is the agricultural sector, with cotton being the country's main export, while services continue to contribute the largest part of GDP largely because of Benin's geographical location, enabling trade, transportation, transit, and tourism activities with its neighboring states. In order to raise growth still further, Benin plans to attract more foreign investment, place more emphasis on tourism, facilitate the development of new food processing systems and agricultural products, and encourage new information and communication technology. Projects to improve the business climate by reforms to the land tenure system, the commercial justice system, and the financial sector were included in Benin's 307 million US dollars Millennium Challenge account grant signed in February 2006. The Paris Club and bilateral creditors have eased the external debt situation, with Benin benefiting from a G8 debt reduction announced in July 2005, while pressing for more rapid structural reforms. An insufficient electrical supply continues to adversely affect Benin's economic growth though the government recently has taken steps to increase domestic power production.
Although trade unions in Benin represent up to 75% of the formal workforce, the large informal economy has been noted by the International Trade Union Confederation at coup to contain ongoing problems, including a lack of women's wage equality, the use of child labor, and the continuing issue of forced labor. Benin is a member of the Organization for the Harmonization of Business Law in Africa, AHADA. Cotonou has the country's only seaport and international airport. A new port is currently under construction between Cotonou and Porto Novo. Benin is connected by two lane asphalted roads to its neighboring countries, Togo, Burkina Faso, Niger, and Nigeria. Mobile telephone service is available across the country through various operators. Ads with connections are available in some areas. Benin is connected to the Internet by way of satellite connections, since 1998, and a single submarine cable SAT3 slash WASC, since 2001 keeping the price of data extremely high. Relief is expected with the initiation of the Africa Coast to Europe cable in 2011. Despite the GDP growth rate of 4-5% to remaining consistent over the past two decades, poverty has been increasing. According to the National Institute of Statistics and Economic Analysis in Benin, those living under the poverty line has increased from 36.2% in 2011 to 40.1% in 2015. The literacy rate in Benin is among the lowest in the world. In 2015 it was estimated to be 38.4%, 49.9% for males and 27.3% for females. Benin has achieved universal primary education and half of the children, 54%, were enrolled in secondary education in 2013, according to the UNESCO Institute for Statistics. Although at one time the education system was not free, Benin has abolished school fees and is carrying out the recommendations of its 2007 educational forum. The government has devoted more than 4% of GDP to education since 2009. In 2015, public expenditure on education, all levels, amounted to 4.4% of GDP, according to the UNESCO Institute for Statistics. Within this expenditure, Benin devoted quite a large share to tertiary education, 0.97% of GDP. Between 2009 and 2011, the share of young people enrolled at university rose from 10% to 12% of the 18 to 25 year age cohort, one of the highest ratios in West Africa. Student enrollment in tertiary education more than doubled between 2006 and 2011 from 50,225 to 110,181. These statistics encompass not only bachelor's, master's, and PhD programs but also students enrolled in non degree post secondary diplomas. The Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research is responsible for implementing science policy. The National Directorate of Scientific and Technological Research handles planning and coordination, whereas the National Council for Scientific and Technical Research and National Academy of Sciences, Arts, and Letters each play an advisory role. Financial support comes from Benin's National Fund for Scientific Research and Technological Innovation. The Benin Agency for the Promotion of Research Results and Technological Innovation carries out technology transfer through the development and dissemination of research results. The regulatory framework has evolved since 2006 till date when the country's first science policy was prepared. This has since been updated and complemented by new texts on science and innovation. The year of adoption is between brackets. Equally important are Benin's efforts to integrate science into existing policy documents in 2015. Benin's priority areas for scientific research were health, education, construction and building materials, transportation and trade, culture, tourism and handicrafts, cotton/textiles, food, energy and climate change. The main challenges facing research and development in Benin are in 2007 Benin counted 1,000 researchers, in headcounts. This corresponds to 115 researchers per million inhabitants. The main research structures in Benin are the Center for Scientific and Technical Research, National Institute of Agricultural Research, National Institute for Training and Research in Education, Office of Geological and Mining Research and the Center for Entomological Research. The University of Abomi Kalavi was selected by the World Bank in 2014 to participate in its Centers of Excellence project, owing to its expertise in applied mathematics. Within this project, the World Bank has loaned $8 million to Benin. The Association of African Universities has also received funds to enable LIDO coordinate knowledge sharing among the 19 universities in West Africa involved in the project. 
fact, there are no available data on Benin's level of investment in research and development. In 2013, the government devoted 2.5% of GDP to public health. In December 2014, 150 volunteer health professionals traveled to Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone from Benin, Côte d'Ivoire, Ghana, Mali, Niger, and Nigeria, as part of a joint initiative by the Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS and its specialized agency, the West African Health Organization, to help combat the epidemic. The Ebola epidemic has been a tragic reminder of chronic underinvestment in West African health systems. The government of Benin devoted less than 5% of GDP to agricultural development in 2010, even though the members of the African Union had agreed to commit at least 10% of GDP to this area in the Maputo Declaration of 2003. They reiterated this goal in the Malabo Declaration adopted in Equatorial Guinea in 2014. In the latter declaration, they reaffirmed their intention to devote 10% of their national budgets to agricultural development and agree to targets such as doubling agricultural productivity having post-harvest loss and bringing stunting down to 10% across Africa. However, African leaders meeting in Equatorial Guinea failed to resolve the debate on establishing a common standard of measurement for the 10% target. Benin has the third highest publication intensity for scientific journals in West Africa, according to Thomson Reuters' Web of Science, Science Citation Index Expanded. There were 25.5 scientific articles per million inhabitants catalogued in this database in 2014. This compares with 65.0 for the Gambia, 49.6 for Cape Verde, 23.2 for Senegal and 21.9 for Ghana. The volume of publications in this database tripled in Benin between 2005 and 2014 from 86 to 270. Between 2008 and 2014, Benin's main scientific collaborators were based in France, 529 articles, United States, 261, United Kingdom, 254, Belgium, 198, and Germany, 156. Transport in Benin includes road, rail, water and air transportation. Benin possesses a total of 6,787 kilometers of highway, of which 1,357 kilometers are paved out of the paved highways in the country, there are 10 expressways. This leaves 5,430 kilometers of unpaved road. The Trans-West African Coastal Highway crosses Benin, connecting it to Nigeria to the east, and Togo, Ghana and Ivory Coast to the west. When construction in Liberia and Sierra Leone is finished, the highway will continue west to seven other economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, nations. A paved highway also connects Benin northwards to Niger, and through that country to Burkina Faso and Mali to the northwest. Rail transport in Benin consists of a single-track, railway. Benin does not, at this time, share railway links with adjacent countries, but construction work has commenced on international lines connecting Benin with Niger and Nigeria, with outline plans announced for further connections to Togo and Burkina Faso. Benin will be a participant in the Africa Rail Project. Kajahoon Airport, located at Cotonou, has direct international jet service to Accra, Niamey. Monrovia, Lagos, Ouagadougou, Lomé, and Douala, as well as other cities in Africa. Direct services also link Cotonou to Paris, Brussels, and Istanbul. The HIV-AIDS rate in Benin was estimated in 2013 at 1.13% of adults aged 15 to 49 years. Malaria is a problem in Benin, being a leading cause of morbidity and mortality among children younger than 5 years. During the 1980s, less than 30% of the country's population had access to primary health care services. Benin had one of the highest death rates for children under the age of 5 in the world. Its infant mortality rate stood at 203 deaths for every lived births. Only one in three mothers had access to child health care services. The Bemico initiative changed that dramatically by introducing community-based health care reform, resulting in more efficient and equitable provision of services. Benin had the 26th highest rate of maternal mortality in the world. According to a 2013 UNICEF report, 13% of women had undergone female genital mutilation. A comprehensive approach strategy was extended to all areas of health care, with subsequent improvement in the health care indicators and improvement in health care efficiency and cost. Demographic and Health Surveys has completed three surveys in Benin since 1996. Beninese literature had a strong oral tradition long before French became the dominant language. 
Felix Cachorro wrote the first Benini's novel, Le Slave, The Slave, in 1929. Post-independence, the country was home to a vibrant and innovative music scene, where native folk music combined with Ghanaian highlife, French cabaret, American rock, funk and soul, and Congolese rumba. Singer Angelique Kijo and actor Jimon Hunsu were born in Cotonou, Benin. Composer Wale Badaru and singer Nanas Pedro are also of Benini's descent. Biennale Benin, continuing the projects of several organizations and artists, started in the country in 2010 as a collaborative event called Regard Benin. In 2012, the project became a biennial coordinated by the Consortium, a federation of local associations. The International Exhibition and Artistic Program of 2012 Biennale Benin are curated by Abdella Karoum and the Curatorial Delegation. A number of Beninese artists have received major international recognition, such as Georges Zidiogbo, Meshach Gaba, Romuald Hazum, Dominique Zincporimo de Medeiros. Many Beninese in the south of the country have Akan-based names indicating the day of the week on which they were born. This is due to influence of the Akan people like the Aguamu and others. Local languages are used as the languages of instruction in elementary schools, with French only introduced after several years. In wealthier cities, however, French is usually taught at an earlier age. Beninese languages are generally transcribed with a separate letter for each speech sound, phoneme, rather than using diacritics as in French or digraphs as in English. This includes Beninese Yoruba, which in Nigeria is written with both diacritics and digraphs. For instance, the mid vowels are written ee. O, O in French are written in Beninese languages, whereas the consonants are written NG and SH or CH in English are written in C. However, digraphs are used for nasal vowels in the labial-velar consonants KP and GB, as in the name of the font language Fongb, and digritics are used as tone marks. In French language publications, a mixture of French and Beninese orthographies may be seen. Beninese cuisine is known in Africa for its exotic ingredients and flavorful dishes. Beninese cuisine involves fresh meals served with a variety of key sauces. In southern Benin cuisine, the most common ingredient is corn, often used to prepare dough, which is mainly served with peanut or tomato based sauces. Fish and chicken are the most common meats used in southern Beninese cuisine, but beef, goat, and bushrat are also consumed. The main staple in northern Benin is yams, often served with sauces mentioned above. The population in the northern provinces use beef and pork meat which is fried in palm or peanut oil or cooked in sauces. Cheese is used in some dishes. Couscous, rice, and beans are commonly eaten, along with fruits such as mangoes, oranges, avocados, bananas, kiwi fruit, and pineapples. Meat is usually quite expensive, and meals are generally light on meat and generous on vegetable fat. Frying in palm or peanut oil is the most common meat preparation and smoked fish is commonly prepared in Benin. Grinders are used to prepare corn flour, which is made into a dough and served with sauces. Chicken on the spit is a traditional recipe in which chicken is roasted over a fire on wooden sticks. Palm roots are sometimes soaked in a jar with salt water on sliced garlic to tenderize them, then used in dishes. Many people have outdoor mud stoves for cooking. Football is generally considered the most popular sport in Benin. In the past decade, Baseball has been introduced to the country. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.